basic editing series. We're making a short little minute, minute and a half fun farm facts video. And I feel like New York City. Get me to the farm. Hi, this is Sue with Get to the Farm here with our basic editing series. We're making a short little minute, minute and a half fun farm facts video. To make a short video for that series on screen today, then we're going to take you along with us. First thing we're going to do is record our audio track with Audacity. That's a free open source audio manipulation program that is used and well loved by many editors. Then we'll perform some edits on it, namely noise reduction to re remove the external noises like the PC fans. Then bass and treble levels. And finally, will perform clip fix if necessary. Then we're going to bring in all our media into our video editor and make our quick little video. Most of the things I'm doing with this editor can be easily done and often in much the same way with other editors like Filmora or PowerDirector. Specifically today we're going to learn overlapping and making still images appear to move. So we're going to record our audio track in Audacity, the free open source audio manipulation program. Even though there are other things that you can pay for, even people with money go and get this because it's a great program to use. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up our text. We're going to hit record just going to open up our audio track for us and begin recording. Hi, this is Sue with Get to the Farm. Did you know? Soybeans are an important ingredient of many things. One acre of soybeans can produce 82,365 crayons. This red line here indicates that I passed above the threshold on audio and that can, that's called clipping and that may present problems. So we will do a clip fix on this. First thing we're going to do is get a sample of our background noise. I leave a little blank here or here at the beginning. You can see the, the rattle here is my fans. So we're going to select that section by clicking and dragging to there. Then we're going to go to the effects menu and choose noise reduction. In order to know what to filter out, you give it a noise profile. This is just the noise we want it to filter out. And it has done that. So now we're going to select the entire project, go into noise reduction again, and click OK. All right. We're still select on all. My voice can be deep without a lot of high notes. So I reduce my bass by, by 15, minus 15, and I increase my treble by 15, plus 15. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to go ahead and grab the end here and delete it because we don't want this much on. So we've clicked and drug. And we're going to hit the delete button. Again, select all. Into the effects menu, we're going to come down here to clip fix, and it's going to help cut the peaks off of that. It's not quite as important in voice as it is in, in music and things, so it didn't do a whole lot to it, but it's going to be enough for our project. You can save this if you want to play with the program, but otherwise, the best thing to do is just export our WAV file right now. Today I learned, I learned soybeans, I'm going to call it Soy Audio, and click Save. 
So here we are in our empty Vegas Pro. We have a set of pictures to bring in and audio. So I'm going to collect them all and drag them and drop them in here. Also, we're going to use our intro and outro. We have one here that's already made with fade and volume control. We're going to start by bringing in our intro and outro. I'm going to find the black spot where they change from one to the other here. That looks like a good place right there. I'm going to hold the shift key and use the left arrow key to select this area. Then I'm going to cut it, which works with the shortcut key, control X if you need. I'm gonna move this over to this end. I guess I could have just split it there, but I'll paste it over there. It's not quite at the beginning of our thing, so we're gonna put it somewhere about right there. There we go, we're gonna add video track. We have a video with soybeans on it. I don't have any audio in that particular clip, so we're going to touch the audio. It's highlighted. I'm going to push U to ungroup it and then hit the delete key. Bring that to the bottom. Yes, I can. I've drugged my audio from that down because that's going to work really well to put our audio on. There's our audio clip. Cut it down a little smaller. There we go. Also, I have several pictures. Place some pictures here. A couple of them like that. And then we're going to overlap them. Each picture clip, as it comes in, is sized to five seconds. That way when you overlap it, one on either side, you have a three second picture, which is optimum for viewing. If you watch television and you see, they often switch between things between three and five seconds between images. It helps keep the viewer's attention. I'm going to step in here. We're going to hit in between. This will say, hi, I'm Sue with Get to the Farm. Then here we're going to hit split. This would say, did you know? And hit split there also. I'm going to touch the did you know and copy it. You can use that with your with the menu here with the copy or control C on the keyboard, which I used. I'm going to place it right there. For our intro over here, we're going to start with an empty media box. We're going to type fun farm x, hitting enter between each one, grab them all, hit didn't get them all, hit bold right here with the big B. I'm going to grab them all and center them. I want my text color to be yellow all the way down here to the color corner of yellow. You want the exact same color. You can keep an eye on these numbers right here and they tell you the exact color. I want the background to be blue. So I'm going into my advanced tab to the background. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to choose a deep blue. It is in transparent background shown by the this checkerboard pattern. So I'm going to pull it all the way up here. And as you can see, text media has now turned blue. set to five seconds. I'm going to take off one second because of the beginning. I'm going to add another text media advance. This one is going to say, did you know? And a question mark. I do the same thing as before. Select them all, bring them bold, grab them all, center them again. Touch the text color and go all the way down here to yellow. Go to advanced, touch the background, choose our deep blue, make it from transparent 
to opaque. I'm going to take one second off, and then we're going to overlap them by one second. And there is my voice file saying, did you know, which we're going to center right across the area. So there it is. Did you know? And here we're going to split these right there. One acre of soybeans can produce 82,000. Yeah, I did want to break there. All right. Split right there. So I'm going to move that over. We'll put it right there. I'm going to go ahead and move forward through some of this. And I'm going to end. I'm going to do something like right about there. I'm going to hit S to split it. I'm going to take the beginning bit and move it down here to this end. Sliding my video over just a hair. Many of the things you can do in Audacity you can also do here, but it doesn't have the ability to do the filtering that I did with my voice, changing it a little there. All right, that is looking good. The did you know over a little? those are going to overlap and then I've got a couple pictures of crayons. Did I group those together yet? If I haven't we're going to do that right now. We're going to touch all three of them with a click. Hit G to group them that way whatever you do to one happens to the others. In this case we're going to move them forward. There you have part one of our second series on basic editing pick it up in the next part, making still images appear to move. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, and share. And if you're not already, please hit that big red button to follow our adventures. Get me to the farm Get me to the farm Get me to the farm